Hello, welcome to the App Review Show, episode 5. I'm Tom Ransom from TomRansom.com. Um, today's show is going to be a little different. You'll notice my camera is moving around quite a lot. Um, I am back at university now, and the Gorillapod that my camera was sat on for all the other episodes is actually my little sister's. So I had to give that back to her before I came back down to uni. So this is going to have to be handheld, but it also gives me a good... Um, Good excuse this week to have a look at my desk cradle. You can just see it. I'll just do a quick brief review. Find it's in it very well indeed. Um, it's very very sturdy. Um, USB there. You can charge the phone. It will also sync, as you can see up there. It says HTC Sync. It has a USB cable plugged into the back. There is also a DC mains plug for this little pocket here which you can sit a second battery in so you can charge another battery while you um, have it on there. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's fourteen ninety nine or something like that. It was it was hardly any money at all really for a desk cradle and it works perfectly. So yeah, that's that out of the way. This week I want to look at um, just a clever little application that I've had since I um, since I had this desk cradle really Whenever I get a text message, I have to lean across my desk to read it and sort stuff out. So, this week, I'm going to look at remote SMS. Um, remote SMS isn't running at the moment, so let's just start it. I think it's probably best if I connect to Wi-Fi first. Bear with me, people. Right, there we go, that's connecting. Now let's get back to the application. Right, so we're connected to Wi-Fi. We have this application called Remote SMS. What it basically is, is it will open up a server page that I can access on my computer of my text messages. So let's just start. There we go, that's that. That's working a treat. It's now running. There's a little notification on the top. Sorry for the crappy... Um, quality here, it's bad lighting so I don't know how easy it's going to be for you guys to see the screen. Um, it says open your web browser and go to, and it gives me a page. Um, let's go to the computer, oh here we go, for this week's episode I would like to dedicate to callsmartphone.com. Top bloke running that website, gives me a lot of exposure, thanks for that. Um, let's put it in, it's given me um, an internal address. So, it's a long IP. I suppose if you can set it up so that it's always using the same thing, you can just um, favourite this page. Alright, so, there you go. That's loading. Remote SMS. And here we go. What we have here. Remote SMS. You can add a recipient. You can select more contacts or group, you can group them all. Type in your message, then press send. And here also, I've got conversations. Oh, email. So you can look back over the recent conversations that you've had with people. Up and down, there's quite a few there. No phone numbers, so I don't have to worry about blocking some stuff out. Don't have to worry about accidentally be giving out people's information. Um, So yeah, I mean, remote SMS is, is quite good, because then, if I get a message, get a text message, I can refresh this web page, it'll pop up, press the refresh button, there we go, that's refreshed, it'll pop up here, and then I can reply to it, so, my desk cradle over here can be sat, I often have it over in that corner where that speaker is, so, my desk is quite ridiculous, with all the rubbish that's on it. Um, yeah, so it's just a very handy application. I recommend it. Although, I think this was a paid application. I think it cost something. Can't remember. Um, 
it wasn't much. You can get a f remote SMS free version, light free version, which isn't too bad. Hold on, let me just, if I just drop into my messages, I can find it. Into my emails. Here we go. Remote SMS full, 99 cents in euros. So, it is not bad. It is well worth it. And it's so, it can be easier to set up. You just run the application, make sure you have Wi-Fi turned on, and press Start Remote M SMS. And it does it for you. And it says here, open your browser, go to HTTP, blah, 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 blah. And it's running on the internal network in the house. It's perfectly secure, because obviously people can't get into access from this network outside. I can access it inside, though, because of the way that I've set up our router. So, yeah, it's worth the download. Um, if you want, as always, if you have any suggestions, you can email me at, at review at tomranson.com, comment this YouTube video, or even um, you can or Twitter uh, is Tom Ranson, or one word, T-O-M-R-A-N-S-O-N, um, and or you can join my um, join my website, tomranson.com, and you can subscribe be a user, a contributor, or whatever, and. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos, then you get these all coming through. Although I do post other crap like save water drink beer. So yeah, thanks for watching. Next week I'm not sure what I'm going to um, review. I know I've already done a video um, RSS catcher in um, Decod, but I found one that is significantly rare, so I might do a review of that because I use that one all the time now. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you next week.